Hi guys, my name is Diego and welcome to Urban Lab. Today I want to share with you my tips on how to buy the perfect book for you. This is for, for the guys that are going to buy his first perfect book. Not only go in front of mine asking me what you look for uh, before to buy a book. Then, what I recommend you need to look for first. Know the product. That's important thing. That means know the part of the product that's what uh, gonna make you happy, and know the materials of the product, and the construction of the product. Then let's start with the, with the part of the, the, the boots. We had two parts, like the shoes, the sole and the upper part. The upper part is uh, divided mainly in two parts. You can find other description, but is the upper part is the bump and the shaft. The shaft is the ankle part of the boot and usually um, the length of the, the, the shaft usually is about six inch. You can find taller or shorter, all depend on your taste. You can look for, 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 for taller boots or shorter boots, but my recommendation is you go for the first six inch, around six inch is, is, a, is a very nice uh, size for, for, it's a very nice, sorry, length for, for, for a boot. The other thing, the weld is in the way that is the sole joined with the upper. In terms of the, the, the interior of the boot, you can see there is, could be like in this case, unlined, or could be lined. More dressed boot usually has liner, lined uh, uh, um, boot. And the other thing is the insole. The insole or midsole, um, I recommend go for leather. There are synthetic materials. Some boots are constructed with synthetic materials, but in my case, um, I, I prefer leather. In terms of the sole, rubber sole, we have this type. We have dynite type. And we have lux soles, like a vibrant. Mm -hmm. uh, What's the difference between the soles? Why you choose one of the other? The, the Dynite is the more dresser, uh, dressier boot. The Lux is, looks more rugged, more countryside style. In terms of uh, what other type of leather, the sole, leather soles. Leather soles, I think, is another, another choice. There are no many boots that make, uh, can make in, uh, with leather soles, but Depend on you because I wear leather soles and live in the UK. Um, I have no problem with the weather or the water. I have no issues realistically. I, I have used for a long time. You can see it. It's already had the creases and but this the sole has no problem whatsoever in in my case. I treat. Eh? I use products to in, in order to improve the water resistance. But um, there is no problem realistically. You can choose whatever you like, but I recommend start with rubber soles. It's the more versatile in, in terms of sole and more durable, in, to my opinion and my experience. This is the part of the boots. Then you need to know what is the materials that are constructed. They are they're usually, the boots are all constructed with, uh, um, with leather, but how is the process of production of that leather is make the difference? Could be chromaxel leather, or could be uh, vegetable tan leather, or uh, chrome tan leather. Sorry, not chromaxel. Chrome tan leather or vegetable tan leather. Chrome tan leather, like this. Yeah, the Wolverine one Thompson made uh, made with uh, a chrome tan leather, and in this type is vegetable uh, veg tan leather. Are two processes completely different. The, the vegetal leather takes longer period, take long period of time to produce, and the chromic cell is, is faster and it has a faster production. Uh, I have difference in, in terms of uh, how we use, unless you are, uh, um, you know, you really like the boots, you are really deep into the boots, start to know the difference one leather or the other. All depend on what you, what you want, but in terms of leather, where it's uh, chrome tan leather or vegetal leather, if the, good is, if the boot is a good quality, there is no problem. Uh, if you start to get, digging deep into the boot, yes, there are, there are people who really like chrome tan leather and people who really like beige tan leather, but that's, that's, uh, 
that's is, is, is in terms of opinion or ability. Or, but I think if you look after the boot, where it's Bedstone leather, Crompton leather, it make any difference. That's in, in terms of this kind of leather. But there are another, another types of leather that I use, which is the suede. The suede are usually very elegant and really resistant and easy to care. The suede is, is my way to go for, um, I want to go more formal in my dress style. But that's our choice. Most of the, the boots are not in, in, in suede, but it's a, it's a good choice and, and really, really, really nice if you want that look with this elegant look, that's more refined look. But you go for ragged and, and you're looking for different kind of, where you crumped and leather, obviously the shape of the wood and the good quality materials, it's no problem. In terms of uh, lined or unlined and uh, insole, um, I prefer leather. There are uh, manufacturers or, uh, or producers that um, use synthetic uh, materials. Uh, I'm very not keen with the synthetic materials. I think it's, it's not the best in terms, uh, you know, in terms of absorption and com comfortability. Maybe are comfortable and, and at the beginning, but the durability of the synthetic materials is not that good, and it's not in, in long term, not good in long term. Now, let's talk about construction. There are two, two systems construction that I use in good quality boots. There are more, more, more systems that I'm going to uh, mention, but this is the most common and to my experience and knowledge are the best. Let's start with the most common, uh, Goodyear Weld. Goodyear Weld boot is a way to attach the, the, the upper to the sole. It's machine sewn, uh, soon, machine sewn, and you can, you can see there are 360, 360, like in, the, in this case, hmm? or okay, Wolverine, the other, 260, 270. It's not all around, it's just finished here, the, the Goodyear weld. What is the advantage of the Goodyear weld construction? Is the, the, the chance that you can resolve many times if you need. That is a, a good thing from the, the, this process. Of course, if you're talking about hand stitch, it's the best, but the, the cost is going skyrocket. But, and let's talk about the availability, more common, and what you're looking for the first boot. Of course, if you get into the boots, then you're gonna look for hand stitch boots because you, you know, the passion make you looking for different products and improve the quality and the levels. But let's talk about the first the first buy. The other construction, system of construction is stitched down, like in this case. In this case, it's a stitch down, 270. I finish here. You can see it finish here. And then good, good line, slim line, yeah, service wood. This is in terms of construction. This is, this is the most common, it is, and now you need to choose your style. There are mm, two, 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 two styles, really, formal and casual. In casual, there are two groups. Uh, always uh, talking about the style. Eh? I'm not talking about all the things, just style. Don't function, you don't need to go to work, no. style. In terms of style, um, casual. Casual, boots, there are two groups. The heritage wood divide in two, which is a uh, work boot, like a Wolverine, or the Rogue Winds, Mock Toes, or Iron Ranger, or Blacksmith, and service boot, like Viber. These are service boots. That's our, our, there's another service boot here, this English one. These are the two styles. You can choose whatever you like. Then know that uh, that's divided uh, in, in heritage war wood and heritage survey wood. And then in that range, there are plenty of options. 
then you can see on, on, on when you search on internet the different uh, mock toes, the different um, how is work boots, um, and then you can uh, can choose in that in, in that segment what you like it. Knowing you know, already keep in mind that that about the construction, about the materials, about the parts of wood, and in the other side of the spectrum where it's more stylish woods, are we're talking about the classic Chelsea, this iconic Chelsea, black leather. This is a dress boot for uh, for for any occasion where you choose go with suit or where you um, less formal or. Um, you know, it's, you can you can wear this in uh, for a party, for go to the ho office, and the other is the chakabut. Chakabut can be in leather or in suede, suede leather. Mm, this is for dress up, really. You you can dress up with one of these with the nice chinos, chakabuts, a good shirt, and and a jacket uh, or a coat goes really, really well and sounds to go to a special occasion or, or um, for a date. The chocolate boots and the chelsea boots are fantastic. Are a must to have? Uh, depend, depend your, uh, your, your style. What you need to be clear is what your style, because you don't gonna buy as a first boot, as a first boot, a Chelsea. I think it's not the right choice because most of us, or at least most of the people I know, they usually dress casual. And then the best is this style. Uh, the, the service boot or, or the work boot. But there is something that usually people overlook, which is the countryside broad boot. The countryside broad boot is very, very casual at the same time very style very stylish at the very same time this with uh, jeans or chinos is the perfect match is the perfect match and make the difference because you can you're gonna see plenty of uh, service wood plenty of work wood but these are not very common really the people don't wear too, uh, too much uh, too many too many people don't wear this uh, these boots it's, it's, it's something that you keep in mind because uh, you don't like, of course, you don't like, but it's something that makes the difference. Uh, as a fair boot, think about it, but you already know, casual or formal. Now we move to the budget. What is your budget? Um, depend on that, it depends on the, 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 the type of food you're going to buy in terms of uh, the quality, talking about more than, more than the, the, the type, the, the, the quality of the boot. If we're talking about less than, uh, boots from less than $200, forget about it. It's, it's, this is not, not the, be, the best way to go. Maybe you're going to save money, but don't, it's not going to be boots that are going to last long. But let's start with 200 pounds, $200 or 200 pounds. In that segment, the first, the very first one to show up his face is Thursday. Thursday has an aggressive campaign on on, on internet on YouTube. There are plenty of YouTubers that review this boot and I'm talking about the uh, um, the wonders of this boot. You have uh, YouTubers like Ross and Bill. I rec strongly recommend that even before to buy your boots. See how they cut in half the boots, and you're gonna see the quality of the boot. The, the cutting half never lies. You're going to see the inside of the boots and he, t he explained very well about the leathers and everything but you know in terms of no which brand are good quality. Thursday use um, how is synthetic materials the form of sporon and maybe are comfortable but I prefer uh, the leathers that the, the boots that has uh, at least 80% of the construction is in leather but then after you it's I don't know how durable, I never have uh, any, but I know some people have uh, 30 foot and uh, there is some issues. It's not all that good that, in, that they, they say. Uh, it's, it's a matter of opinion, but let's talk about the next, the next uh, boot makers. And let's put the limit in 400, $400 or 400 pounds. 
The next one is Chippewa. Chippewa has a long history of, uh, of production of uh, uh, heritage workbooks. I have one pair of uh, Chippewa already seven years, which I wear in different situations with bad weather, with muddy, muddy conditions, and so far, so good. Go strong. I have no problems, no problem whatsoever with that wood. But in terms of construction, you can see it's not the best quality, even though they hold really well. The spider has a lot of uh, the, the midsole, and so it's not really good. Um, hold really well. Chippewa, don't forget about that. Next one is Bolbrin here. My beloved Bolbrin. Mm, no problem. Mm, simple like that, no problem. Good quality. Tasted by, by myself and uh, um, have no. No, um, no issue to say my, my real opinion in, in, this, in, in, in this quality of wood. It's really good. It's really good wood mm, and it's affordable. And it's stylish. Looks really well with the, uh, with the, with the jeans. The next, Red Winds. By far, I think, are uh, the way to go. You're going to buy your first pair of wood. If I, I, I must recommend you uh, a boot to say, okay, it's my first pair, uh, my first pair of boots, and what I'm looking for, Red Winds. Where it's Mock Toe, where it's Iron Ration, or Blacksmith, fantastic. I own a Mock Toe, we don't have it here, but you wanna see when I do the, the, and at the end of the video, the, the run, uh, the, the show up there of, uh, the show of uh, some, some boots and with jeans and dress pants. No problem, fantastic. Are a little bit difficult to break in, but once uh, the break is, is the, the, the stage of the break in has passed, are the best, are the best. And in terms of durability, no problem. You wanna see if you uh, dig in in, uh, in YouTube, and there are people who really mistreat the Iron Rangers. Uh, fantastic, fantastic. Uh, and in terms of uh, comfort, Yes, are comfortable. When the, the breaking period finish, they are comfortable boots. What is the next in terms of uh, this range? One is coming uh, really, a, a brand that coming really strong is Grandstone. Grandstone is produced in China and looks like use really good quality materials and because it's produced in China, doesn't mean the, 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 the quality of production is, is bad, but um, you know, the, the, the cost of the production is lower than in other countries. And it looks like they, they can have a really good production uh, of really good quality goods and can offer a more or less affordable price. The range of the Grand Stone is around $350, $380. Uh, it's, it's a step up in, in, in a brand that um, still to me need to, to construct more, more reputation. Uh, looks like the, the customer service is really good, but if we talking about Thursday, Wolverine, Chippewa, uh, Red Wings, and Grindstone, my recommendation, uh, if filled, uh, fit the bill uh, for your style, Red Wings, I think by far are, are the best quality boots, and are really good looking too. Are good looking boots. I'm I'm, I'm really like it. I have a, a collection of boots, and then I can tell you this: this something that they stand, stand the ground. This boots, this boots stand the ground, and it looks really nice. But all depend on your style, of course. You want something more in this style, Grand Stone. If you want something in this style and you don't have the money, maybe Thursday oh, with this. But that's a way to say it. it's, 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 it's just a recommendation. I think Red Wind are in the top by far. What about the above 400? Uh, 400? That is a top tier. You can find it from 400 and unlimited price. In the most common brands, what are manufactured in, uh, 
and the factory producers are made in factory, not by hand. Uh, they are they are expensive, really expensive wood. But let's talking about the the most common brands that produce good quality woods and are easy to find, and has a good reputation. Let's start with with uh, with the American American side, the, uh, made in USA or brands from USA. Wesco, Nix, Whites are are that I think I think. I think, I really think, are iconic brands, then that cannot be overlooked because quality are top-notch, are top-notch. And the customer service is really good. Uh, if we move to Canada, of course, Viber, by far, Viber. I just choose this, wood be choose this brand because I know have reputation and easy to find. Another brands more in the, in the dressy side, uh, Allen Edmonds and Alden are two brands that you can find good quality woods. Are not the most desirable woods, but well, are nice woods. If we jump to Europe, mostly I produce in England in the way I like it, eh? because uh, the French uh, produce really nice woods, the Italian produce nice woods, the German produce nice woods. But let's talk about the the brands that are easy to find and and uh, you come from bargains or from these brands. Crocodile and Jones, Edward Green, uh, Church, Joseph Tini, Trickers. These are five um, English brands that are, produce good quality of foods. Then if you jump to other countries in the mainland of Europe. Spain, Carmina, by far, are really, really good boots, a really good boots. And you're not gonna regret uh, by, by, by this, uh, by a boot from Carmina. That's why I'm Spanish, I'm, <laughs> I'm from Spain, and then it's what I like. Uh, but no, no, uh, seriously, um, the quality is really good. There are other brands like Mermin, but, uh, I recommend Carmina in terms of quality. Eh? Carmina, I think, is, is has really good leathers, and the construction is really good. And in Portugal, Carlos Santos is another brand that make really good quality woods, and is really overlooked. But I think find a bargain or a sale from Carlos Santos. There are some webs like a, a, a fine pair, a fine pair of shoes which is an English um, website that you can find some sales time to time from Carlos Santos and, and the quality of the woods are really good. These are expensive woods, but there is something. I don't think mm, mm, uh, Nix, Whites or Wesco you can find really good bargains and mm, you're going to finish paying the full price, which is worth it. It's worth it. But in the other brands with the mass production, I recommend if you want to sit down and do your research in, 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 a, in the internet, uh, go for eBay, go for the sales. There are no many, but there are sales. And the most important, if you have a, um, a, factory, sh a factory shop from these brands, but I'm gonna write all in, down in the description. I, I think are the best, are the, and the best, uh, the factory shop. In matter of fact, my collection of bo uh, boots is built uh, in factory shops. I just go to different factory shops and try to find the, the best bargain. And you should pay half of the price. Look at this, suppose you have a Crockett and Jones that costs 400 pounds a boot, 400 pounds, and go to a factory job and pay, and pay 220 pounds, whether a, a, a 30 boot costs 200 pounds, there is no doubt. But of course, you need to have a, a, an outlet or, or a factory shop, uh, like in my case. Oh, all these boots, this is a factory job, this is a factory job, uh, that means half price. 
Uh, this is a factory job. Look at this. And this is factory job. Uh, and pay half the price, always half the price. I always looking for a bargain because uh, um, build a collection of boots is uh, difficult. The only ones I pay full price is the buyers because it's impossible to find any any discount on these boots. Uh, there are some places that uh, sell uh, um, second hand, but it's difficult to find the, the size. Well, but I think it's the only boot that I pay full price. If you like uh, this video, please uh, think about subscribe. Anyway, let's move on now. Now we're get... gonna. I'm gonna show you the different different uh, style of boots, wear with jeans and and trousers. And let's see what you're thinking about it. Let's start with cheaper one. This is uh, a work boot that I own for seven years already. You can see it's, it's a really nice boot. The next one is Wolverine. Wolverine 1000 miles as where with jeans. Then the next one is Red Wind Mock Toes. The next one is Viber service boot in Chromaxel leather. This is the next one is Crocker and Jones Coniston Rough Out Suede. This is a really rugged boot, a really rugged boot, and wear this in the, in, the, in, the, in the countryside several times. Next one, this is a service boot from Teeny. It's in Comexel leather too. Next one, the classical Coniston, the, the Bezos Batan leather, normal ones, brown. Next one, let's move into Brooks, Brooks Isley, the Crocodile Jones. Next one, Crocodile John x -tail. another board. Uh, I bought this uh, in, in, a, in a factory shop. Next one, Crocodile John's Brogues boots, another Brogues boot, fantastic. Next one is Edward Green Chaka boots in suede. Next one is another Crocodile John's uh, Chaka boots in suede black. These are more dressier. Next one, Crocodile Jones Chaka boots in leather, in black leather. It's more formal this style, as you've seen. Next one is the Chelsea in brown, you see, with uh, with, with uh, suit leather, uh, suit uh, trousers. There is another Chelsea black. And the last one is a black boot called Norcote from Crocodile Jones. All these boots are bought in, uh, I have bought in, uh, in a factory shop. And there's no problem whatsoever, have any, any problem. Uh, in terms of uh, the, the, the choice, the last words about the choice, my thoughts uh, in terms of choice. Go for, for the style that you like. and. Think about your style, your own style, before to choose the boot. Not choose the boot, oh, it's so good. No, no. Think about the style in order to save your money. Try to buy the, the best possible quality that you can afford because they're going to last long. And third, in terms of style, the, you're never going to fail with uh, heritage workbooks or heritage service boots are always very, very nice. And make the difference between the sneakers and the boots. There is a huge difference. It's, it's, it's a big change. Thank you so much for being here. See you in the next. Bye.